much. How is everybody today? Fine, good, thank good, you. Good. Real quickly, we just want to go through. I'm Detective James McBride. I'm with the Clearwater Police Department, and I'm uh, with the Clearwater Area Human Trafficking Task Force. I've been the only full-time, besides my partner, Cal Cundo, with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, we're the only two full-time detectives in the Tampa Bay area that look into this. So, real quickly before we get started, we just want to get everybody on the same page to understand that human smuggling and human trafficking are two different things. So we'll get you a, a basis on what human trafficking is. Human trafficking is a, uh, is a form of modern day slavery. It involves the exploitation of persons for commercial sex or forced labor, plus the inability to extricate oneself from the situation. Uh, a lot of times what you're going to see the traffickers employ force, fraud, or coercion to control their victims and to have their victims basically it's, it's, it's to make money for an organization. This is the uh, slide I really wanted to show you. This shows smuggling versus human trafficking. And what you see with smuggling, smuggling is an offense against the integrity of the U.S. border. In other words, to be uh, involved in smuggling, you have to have somebody cross the United States border. You, uh, human trafficking, you do not. Human trafficking can, can occur not only with persons from foreign, foreign nationals, but can also happen with American citizens. Uh, and we're also starting to see where, where trafficking can happen with U.S. citizens going out of the United States into other countries. Um, smuggling typically, they make their money, the smugglers make their money, in other words, they come up with an agreement. This is how much money you'll pay for me to get you into the United States. Once they get those persons into the United States, then, they, then their uh, contract is done. With the human trafficking, what you see is they're brought into the United States. They're either, either they're told that they'll come in as maids or, you know, you have a job here. And once they get here, then they're forced to do something else. Usually the, uh, with the females and the juveniles, you're, you're looking at the sex industry, forced stripping, uh, prostitution. Uh, and uh, what also what we're seeing is, is once they get in to here, they make the money for the organization. The organization keeps them around and moves them around the United States. It's estimated that there's 500,000 to 202 million people trafficked worldwide. And these, these, all these numbers you see up here are from the Department of Justice. These are numbers that I just made up. These all come from um, our own government. It's estimated that 70% of the victims are female um, with trafficking. The, it is the second most lucrative business in the United States um, besides drugs. We actually have seen in our own area and we're seeing throughout the United States a lot of drug organizations um, that are, are turning over to doing human trafficking because of the profits, one, and two, the penalties are a lot less. You bring in a lot of cocaine, you bring in a lot of uh, um, heroin, you're going to do a lot more time than you are if you're just uh, um, trafficking women in for the purposes of prostitution or some other form of labor. Uh, we wanted to keep that brief and short just to kind of get everybody on the same page and see the difference between smuggling and trafficking. And uh, I appreciate your time and having me here. Thank you.